Okay, so we have a solution of pentane plus hexane. The pure vapor pressure, pentane is 425 P star, 425 Tor, P star, 151 Tor. P of solution is 258 Tor, and wants to know what are the mole fractions. Okay, so we're gonna call pentane C5, and we're gonna call hexane C6, so we don't have to write out the names the whole time. So we need a system of equations here. So first, C5. Okay, so we have the mole fraction. Now, you can imagine what's going to happen at the extremes with your endless relative graph here. Uh, vapor pressure. So this is going to be P star of C5. This is P star C6. Mole fraction C5. Zero, one. Now, a pure hexanes a pure hexane solution is going to have a vapor pressure of the same as pure hexanes. A pure pentane solution is going to have a vapor pressure of that. And everywhere in between, assuming ideal behavior, is just going to be a linear combination of the two according to this equation. The problem is that we have two unknowns in this equation. So we need another equation. And that is that the mole fractions together add up to one. So we can just do a quick substitution here. The mole fraction of C6 is just 1 minus the mole fraction of C5, which means that mole fraction C5, 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 1 minus mole fraction C5, that's P star of C6. So we multiply that through and we get. Um, P C five plus six minus C five pressure star C six. Um, let me just get to a new line here. Pressure minus pressure star C six equals. Mole fraction of C5. We're just going to factor out the mole fraction here. That's going to be P star of C5. P star of C6. And to finish this off, it equals P minus P star C6 over. And that is going to be, I mean, I guess I can put the numbers in just for fun. Uh, 258 Tor minus 151 Tor. 425 Tor. What that gives us is. 0.39, and so vapor pressure of C. The mole fraction of hexane then is just going to be 1 minus C5 minus 0.39 equals 0.61. And that's all there is to it.